Now, continuing the trend of good news, Chelsea Manning has been released from prison. Of course, she's not been completely pardoned of the criminal acts that she didn't actually do. Reporting the crimes of the U.S. government is not a crime in and of itself. However, they still feel that leaking the information, particularly as it relates to the collateral murder video, is still something that she should be in prison for. And this, of course, that's absolutely ridiculous. She did the right thing and should never have gone to prison to begin with. This is absolutely wrong. But what I find really interesting about the about the SJW reaction to her release is all about how she's trans and how a trans person is now free. Uh, this trans hero has earned being a woman. That's one phrase I heard. And I, I just couldn't help but notice that the actual reason why Chelsea Manning was being held is that was giving out information showing the murder of third world people to the public. Like, that's the actual reason. That's why Chelsea Manning is a hero for basically what pretty much thought was going to be a death sentence to you know sacrifice her entire life so that the public could know about a crime that was being committed in the name of U.S. Empire. But that whole reason seems completely forgotten by SJWs. The whole reason she went to prison just means absolutely nothing. It's all about her being trans. And okay, f fine, you're, you're trans, that's a social issue. But that's not why she went to prison, a, a military prison. She went there because she did the right thing in exposing a crime of imperialism. But that does, just doesn't seem to enter their minds in any way, shape, or form. And I even I even noticed that when Chelsea Manning got out, uh, one of the pictures she posted on her Twitter was how she had uh, she had a piece of pizza, like the first real pizza she had in like five years or something like that. Like it's greasy goodness, stuff like that, which I could totally sympathize with. I love pizza myself. Some moron actually tweeted... You should go vegan. Like, that's somehow even relevant in any way, shape, or form. You get out of prison. You had, God knows, Chelsea Manning had to have been tortured. And the first thing you throw at them is, you should go vegan? Like, like it just, it blows my mind. How the things that, that really matter, or what something is actually about, just completely misses the point. It finally gets away from all that torture, has one tiny little luxury, being able to eat a piece of pizza, something that all of us take for granted every single day, and then bombard them with be vegan. Like, that couldn't have waited, or that couldn't have just been held off while the person was trying to enjoy, like, their first day of freedom. I mean, it's, 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 it's nuts, and it just shows what the priorities for SJWs really are. The larger systemic issues that affect the entire world mean absolutely nothing. Their identity as being vegan, oh, that's like the most important thing. I mean, it's just absolutely ridiculous, and I'm, I'm very happy that uh, Chelsea Manning is free, and she should be free. She never did anything wrong to begin with. And it's, it's, it's too bad she could not have gotten the, the full and complete pardon that she deserves. But for now, we'll just take solace in the fact and be happy that Chelsea Manning is now free. Thank you for watching. If you like this program, then please head over to my Patreon page and set up a monthly donation. It's your donations that keep this program running. Also, if you would like, please rate, comment, subscribe, and share in various social media.